What is going on guys, Jack here, and today I've got for you guys an Eastside Hockey Manager early access tutorial on how to install face packs into your game. If you don't know what a face pack is, it's essentially an additional graphic that you can see here that displays on any player's profile page. If you want to learn more about how to get the real player names and real database as well as the club logos into your game, I've done separate videos on them, there'll be useful links down in the description. So anyway, for today's video we're going to be focusing on getting face packs into the game. So the first step you need to do is download a phase pack. The one that I'm currently using is the NHL Mega Pack from the Blue Line, which is an amazing forum. Uh, you can see the URL here, ehmthebluelinecom and a really great website, but the forums are particularly good when it comes to resources. In order to download these face packs, much like the logo packs I've covered in a previous guide, you will have to be signed up to the forum, but given the fact that this place has the best resources on the web for Eastside Hockey, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer to sign up anyway. So anyway, I'll link this web page down below. If you want to use a different face pack, because there are a number of them around of different styles, you need to follow the exact same steps as these. We're just going to be focusing on this one because this is the one that I happen to use. So anyway, I'm going to link this thread. The actual version we need is the CDS version, which is this top one. You'll see here it does say East Side Manager Hockey, oh, East Side Hockey Manager Early Access Edition here. Uh, at the moment, this download link isn't working. So if you want to get this, if you just scroll a little bit down the post that I've linked, there is um, the fixes here. So you're going to want the CDS patch and you're going to want uh, this update, which is an update for this most recent season. So the way that this works is you'll download both kind of files, as you can see here, you just open up the zippy share links, hit download, and they will then download to your downloads folder in a zip format. If you don't know how to extract these files and you don't have WinRAR or another unarchiving software kind of installed, I'm going to put a link on screen as well as down in the description to a video that will show you how to do what I'm about to do in the next step. So based on the assumption that you do have um, WinRAR installed, the next thing you're going to do is uh, extract these two zip files uh, to two folders and to create two folders. So now we have these two things. The top one, which is TBL Roster 6, is a patch, or rather not a patch, it's the one that contains all the face packs. So here you can see all the players in the game, all of their date of birth. So the way this works is you have the player's name, then their date of birth afterwards, and the game automatically kind of assigns that to the player in-game. The other file that we have, which is this one, the face pack CST that was just downloaded, is a little bit smaller. Within this one is some updated faces, so this is why there's the two separate downloads. So you want to take the smaller of these two folders, which is this one, the TBL7 face pack CSD, copy the faces that are in here, and then we're going to go to the rosters version, the larger of the two folders. And within here, we're just going to paste these updated faces. So once we've done that, control V, uh, do this for all the conflicts. And this is going to update your faces in game. Anyway, and the next step to do is to take this folder here, this TBL roster 6 patch folder that contains all the faces that you've downloaded and uh, copy it to your clipboard. Anyway, once we've done that, the last step is to paste in this folder into the correct folder within our Eastside Hockey Manager installation. So to do that, you need to open up your Steam. You're going to go to Library Games down the left hand side where it says Eastside Hockey Manager, you're going to, going to right click on it and go to Properties and then you're going to go to Local Files, Browse Local Files, so that's go into Steam, right click on your game, Local Files, Browse Local Files and you'll have this directory here. Yours may vary slightly, you can find this manually not using Steam but this is the easiest way to do it. The next step is to go into the Datas folder and within here you'll see another folder called Pictures. So we're going to go into this one and you'll see there is a number of different folders. Some you'll have, some that you won't. If you don't already have a players folder, don't worry. The next step is just to paste in the folder that you had to the clipboard that contains all the kind of faces that you've just downloaded. And then all you need to do is rename this folder to players. As you can see, I've already got a players folder here, so I don't need to worry about it too much. If you then wanted to install an additional database, the only, uh, or rather, sorry, an additional face pack, all you have to do is paste in the faces of the players you want into the players folder that will already exist. So as I mentioned I've already got this downloaded but if we look in my players folder within this installation directory you can see it has the exact same faces as what I just showed you guys with the updates included 
And uh, once you've done that, the last step is simply to load up your game and the next time you restart it, you will have all the faces of all the players in your game. Of course, in this example, I was using the NHL face pack mega pack, which is the one that I currently have installed. But as I mentioned, if you wanted to install additional ones, there are ways of doing that. One little point that is worth noting is if you wanted to install a face pack for non-players, such as staff, because they are separate face packs sometimes, the only difference in the installation is that instead of having the players folder, you need to create a new folder called non-players. And the reason for this is because um, it's just how it works, basically. So if you wanted to get staff faces into the game, you just follow the exact same steps that I've shown you before. Download a staff face pack and then put it into a non-players folder. It's very, very important that when you install within this players folder, there are only the pictures. You can't have like a folder within this. It won't then load the faces. So anyway, hopefully this video helped. If it did, let me know. Smash the like button. If you need any help, you get stuck, leave it down in the comments. Either myself or I'm sure one of the other viewers who gets it working will let you guys know exactly how to do it. And as I mentioned right at the start, I do recommend you check out the Blue Line. They do great resources, not only graphics, but also databases. And uh, check out my channel. Got a variety of other guides for Eastside Hockey Manager that are certainly worth checking out. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, I will talk to you guys in a bit.